Hello sewing friends, welcome back to my sewing room. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this adorable reversible apron. I found this beautiful watercolor pumpkin fabric at Joann's. I got it for 50% off. It's normally $12.99 and I got it for $6.50 a yard. Isn't it beautiful for the fall? And on the other side, I used an everyday fabric that matches my kitchen. This fabric is by Keepsake Calico and it's called the Wispy Vines Teal. It normally goes for $9.99 a yard, and I got it for 30% off. So I paid $6.99 a yard. Isn't it pretty? Stay till the end, because I'll put a video showing me wearing both sides of the apron so you can get a better look at it. So let's get started, and I'll show you just how easy it is to make this apron. Okay, this is the pattern that I use to make my apron, but you can use any apron pattern that you have on hand or you can trace um, an existing apron that you have. If you want to pause this next clip, you can screenshot the measurements for my apron. But this is the one I used if you want to pause your video and write down my measurements. Okay, to get started, you'll need to cut out your, your main pieces of your apron fabric. I use this everyday fabric for one side and the other side is going to be this beautiful fall pumpkin Okay, to get started, we're going to start with our pocket fabric first. It's 19 by 25, and we're going to fold it right sides together like this. And pin this. Okay, pin that and go sew the half inch seam allowance down this edge. And do the same thing for the pocket fabric for the other side of your apron. Okay, we finished sewing both pockets, and now we'll just turn them right side out. And then we're going to iron them and making sure this seam is on the back of the pocket. We want our pumpkins to be right side up. So this will be the top of our pocket here and make sure the seam is on the back of this pocket like this and make sure the pumpkins are going the right direction. Okay, I got out my little ironing surface here and I like to wet my projects with water. It just helps it to hold better. Put that with a little water and give it a quick little press. There. Once those are nice and pressed, set those aside and now we're going to work on the straps. Okay, I decided to use my everyday fabric for the straps of this reversible apron. And we'll set the next strap aside for now. We're going to work on the two side straps. Now it's very important that one side of this is the finished edge. Wet it with water. And we're going to fold over about a half an inch and give that a press because this will be the finished end of your apron. So you want to make sure that has a nice clean finished edge here. Fold that in. Just fold this in half, wrong sides together with that little bit folded over into the inside like that. Fold that in half evenly and give that a little press. and do that all the way down. This is easier on an ironing board, but I'm doing it on this surface to make it easier for you guys to see on camera. But on an ironing board, this would go much faster. And then come back to the beginning here. And now we have that little crease to follow. And we're gonna fold this into the crease and give that a press. And just follow that all the way down, all the way down. Like that, turn it over and do the other side. that in. I like to use a little water. It really helps hold everything. Make your life easier. And now we're just going to fold that in half again. And water is your best friend during this project. It really helps hold it together nicely. Okay, that's one strap done. This, this edge is the finished edge because this will be at the bottom of the apron and this edge does not need to be finished because it will be in the seam of the apron. So do the same thing we just did to your other side strap. But for your next strap, you don't need to finish any edge because both edges will be in the seam of your apron. 
wrong side to wrong side like this. And then you just fold this here, fold this here, just like we did and fold that like that and create your next strap. Okay, now that we have all of our straps folded and ironed, we're going to go and top stitch both sides of each of these straps. Okay, to get started top stitching, I'm gonna change out my presser foot for my edge stitching foot that has the little flange right here. It keeps your fabric along the edge so that your top stitching comes out nice and even. Okay, I'm gonna line up my strap right there. Make sure my needle position is all the way to the left where I want it. And do a fixed stitch or a back stitch and just sew all the way down. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch. And now do the other side. Make sure your threads are underneath and pulled back so you don't create a nest of a mess. Bring the other side over. Line that up. Fix stitch or back stitch and sew all the way down. Fix stitch at the, at the bottom and we're done. Do the edge stitching on all three of your straps and then meet me back at the cutting table. Okay, now that we finished top stitching all of our straps, we'll set these aside and we're going to work on putting the pockets on our apron. Okay, lay out the top of your one of your apron sides right sides up from this corner to where I want to place my apron is five inches so I'm just going to use this and mark five inches down right there five inches down there and that's where I want to place my pocket you can adjust this according to your height because you might want them higher or lower but five inches from this corner down is perfect for me and make sure the seam of your pocket is on the back of the pocket and that your pattern is right side up. And we're gonna line the top of your pocket with that mark we just made. Pin the bottom of it. Now we're gonna do a top stitch all the way down. Okay, we finished top stitching the bottom of our pocket. Now I just wanna flip it over and trim off the excess from the pocket. Okay, flip it back over. Just to hold everything in place, I like to go and just do a little edge stitching. Just do a little stitching right here on this edge and on this edge, just to hold the pocket in place. Okay, we finished sewing up the, the edges just to hold the pocket in place. And now we're going to make the size of our pockets. Okay, to mark the size of our pockets, I like to go over about eight inches. Put a little mark at eight inches and eight inches from this side come down here and do eight inches from that side and eight inches from that side and, and now you can make yours any size you want you can make a little tiny pocket to hold a pen or paint brushes or makeup brushes whatever you want to put on your apron but i like mine about this size but you can design your own and then just match those marks and make a line there and now you just go to the sew machine and you just stitch right down that line and stitch right down that line making sure you do a fixed stitch at the beginning and at the end or a back stitch whatever your machine is switch back to my regular presser foot and i'm just going to make sure my needle is in the center lined up with that little red dot and then i like to start at the bottom of my pocket where the line is and i'm going to line up my needle with that chalk line and then put my presser foot down and do a fixed stitch and sew all the way down. Following that chalk line. And then when I get at the top of the pocket, I do a fixed stitch or a back stitch and I go a little bit above the pocket to reinforce the pocket. Okay, we finished that line. Now you just do this line and I'll show you what's next. Okay, we finished sewing our pockets on this side. We got one, two, three pockets. And now everything we just did to this piece, I want you to do to the other side of your apron with this piece. We're gonna add the pocket on and do our lines, and then we're gonna come back and do our straps. Okay, we got both sides of our aprons 
with our pockets all on. That one's all ready. And the everyday apron on the other side is all ready. The pockets are all sewn on in the, and ready for our straps. First, we gotta mark where our straps go. And I have that marked on my pattern. And if you're using your own pattern, just go according to that. But if you're copying my pattern, just um, line it up. Mark, line it down. Mark right there and there. And right here and here. And flip it over and do the other side. Okay, we're going to start with the next strap. And make sure you don't twist it. And just go like this and line it up where the next strap goes, right there, and put a pin. Okay, that's ready to go there. And now let's take our side straps and we're gonna take the unfinished, the, the raw edge seam. This one is finished, so don't put that one in. Put the raw edge over here. Line that up with our markings and pin that down. that out of the way and make sure you get the raw edge of this strap this is the finished edge leave it out the raw edge will be going over here line that up with our markings and pin this one and now I like to use pat um, I like to fold these over and use painters tape to hold my straps in place. So when I sew with the line, with the other apron piece on, these don't get in my way sewing. So I just take some painter's tape. You could even use masking tape. If, if you put the masking tape like on your clothes first and then take it off, it's not as sticky. So I'm just going to tape that down. It's enough to hold it out of place. Okay, I'm going to go sew right here on this strap and this one and this one and this one just to hold them in place so they don't move when we're sewing the other the other um, part of the apron on here later okay we finished tucking down the straps and we've got them all taped down with our tape now we're going to take the other apron piece and we're going to put right sides together right side to right side and just line that up. And then we're gonna leave about a four or five inch opening here at the bottom. So I like to put my needles going this way to remind me to stop sewing here. Like that. And then just pin all the way around. Okay, we're gonna leave this opening here. We're gonna sew starting here, go all the way around stopping here okay we finished sewing all the way around now before we can turn it right side out we need to clip the corners clip each little corner here without without cutting into your stitches clip this corner this corner and then right here on this curve you need to do little clips so that it'll lay nicely so just go through here and do little snips. And do the other side. Okay. And then I like to clip these these this curve here too so it'll lay nice. And this curve. Okay, we've got all the clipping done. Now we're gonna turn it right side out. Just pull off your tape. Make sure you go in and push out all your corners and we're gonna go to the iron and we're gonna iron this flat all the way around and iron this little opening close like that, tuck this in. And then we're gonna go and top stitch the whole thing. You can use that same little edge stitching foot to just do a top stitch all around the edge, all the way around. We're all finished. See the top stitching? Top stitch it all the way around. 
This would make great Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or even a wedding gift. Wouldn't it be cool if you got a, like a, a fabric on one side for the husband and a fabric on the other side for the wife? So one apron, but it could be used by both of them. That would be kind of cool. That would be fun to look for fabric for that. Or you could do Easter on one side and Valentine's on the other or Christmas on one side and Thanksgiving on the other. Or just have two different fabrics. There's so many different ways you can do this. And you can use aprons not only for cooking, but you can also use it for painting, for for doing makeup. You can make a cool apron. If, for those of you that like to do makeup, you could make your pockets smaller to hold all your makeup brushes or all your paint brushes for your gardening tools. There's so many different ways you can use your apron. So comment below and tell me what kind of apron you're gonna make. I would love to know. If you like my video, check out this video right here. I think you'll like it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now. Aren't these pumpkins adorable? I love them. Okay, and then just take it off, turn it around, and you got a different apron. I love this fabric too, it's so pretty, it matches my kitchen.